Well, I think that neoadjuvant certainly has its place. Um, I think uh, for me, I would not say it's the standard of care. It's a standard of care in selected patients. So who clearly benefits from neoadjuvant? Well, certainly the patient who can't undergo an aggressive cytoreduction. So significant comorbidities. In some cases, age may, f may be a factor in that. But certainly someone who's older who has comorbidities is the perfect example of someone who would likely benefit from neoadjuvant over primary cytoreduction. But again, you have to do that on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, there's a lot of other literature that's looked at trying to predict whether you could optimally cite or reduce someone, and there's some good data that's come out just in the past year and, um, that I presented. And certainly, we have a much better understanding looking at physical factors as well as radiographic factors as to whether you're going to be able to get there, if you will, in terms of optimally cite or reduced. So that all needs to be taken into context as well. So if you see someone who has disease that you do not think that you're going to be able to fully resect, that may be someone that you also consider for neoadjuvant chemotherapy. But in general, I still think that uh, in most cases, if the patient's healthy enough, primary cytoreduction reduction appears to be the way to go.